Thanks for checking out my updated Ever Webinar review. This software will allow you to deliver the perfect webinar presentation over and over without ever being present. Even better, if you click the link down below in the description or the pinned comment, you'll get taken to a very unique page that looks like this. So normally in the past, every webinar had to have you purchase it in order to use it, but using that link, you get a 30 day trial for only $1. So you get plenty of time just to make sure that the software is gonna be perfect for you. My way of saying thank you for checking out this review. Now let's dive right in. All right, so if you're looking to create an automated webinar, it is very straightforward. As you can see right here, we're gonna start on configuration and you're just gonna make your way through this where you can make all the edits that you need and adjust it to your liking. And they have a lot of great adjustments too to really kind of tailor it towards your needs. In the beginning, we're looking at our source video here. We have an external video file that I have here. As an example, it can be MP4, YouTube, and Vimeo. Or if you are using Webinar Jam, which is their other software. So Webinar Jam is for live webinars. Every webinar is gonna be for automated. I do have both, so if you do have that, there is gonna be a little integration here where you can just use a Webinar Jam live session, which makes it much easier to get up and running if you're gonna do it that way. So we have our video file, let's click on Save. And we go down, we have some basic settings as well. I just put this in very quickly. You know, your basic stuff, the description, the title, and so on and so forth. If you wanna add a thumbnail, you can do that. There's also gonna be moderators, and you might be asking, well, why do I need a moderator on a automated webinar? Well, as you can see with the user role, it says moderators will only assist managing and moderating the event. As a result, the system will give them access to the control panel, not the live room itself. So if you do want a moderator to help with things, it's a nice little feature to have. So I just use myself there as an example. I'm gonna click on save and I'm gonna go to next. All right, and here is where we get really fancy with EverWebinar. You can really fluctuate how it's gonna be set up. You can make it as easy as you want. You can do it every single day at specific times. But if you look right here, I'm just gonna quickly go through. This is where we can set up you know, on or every single day on specific days with time frames. We can do the user's own time zone. You can do your own, you can add them in that way. There's also gonna be plenty of other options to use here, like enable instant watch replay. So this is known as webinar on demand, okay? So the registration page will show one additional option, which is watch the replay now. This option allows your visitors to watch the replay immediately without having to wait for the next available session. Note that since it's meant to mimic a replay video, the webinar room will not display any rolling chat feeds. So this is a great way to get the most amount of signups. They are gonna know it's a replay, which isn't a big deal, right? But at the same time, if you just want the most amount of opt-ins and you don't want people to wait too long, you can definitely do that. There's also gonna be the allow a late attendance here. So the purpose of this feature is to let people join an already running webinar instead of forcing them to wait for the next one. Obviously the video stream will auto forward to the appropriate timestamp to keep realism intact. So this is kind of an opposite thing. This is more of like, hey, you can watch the replay now or hey, you can join late even though it already started. So a little bit more realism there. And then there's gonna be the just in time option. So. This feature mimics a scenario where the registrant arrives to the registration page just a few minutes before the webinar is about to start. So this is similar to just in time, except it's gonna be a few minutes. So anytime they arrive on the page, it's pretty much gonna be like, hey, it's just about to start, you might as well sign up now. So. We've observed that this feature increases signup ratio significantly. So right off the bat, just talking about these, I'm sure your mind can kind of wander and say like, hmm, which one would be best for me? Obviously you wanna test that out. I love the fact that they have so many options for you to use. And even if you don't use these, like we talked about, we can do every day, let's just say at, we wanna do 10 a.m. Okay, and once again, we can use like their own time zone is probably gonna be best, okay? You can obviously do maybe like, I'm in Eastern, I could always do 10 a.m. Eastern, or you can do their specific time zone, which probably make a little bit more sense because 10 here definitely isn't going to be 10 everywhere else, you know what I mean? Unless they're in Eastern time zone, so you can do it that way as well. There's also gonna be the displayed schedules, so you have to overwhelm your users by displaying too much. So what do you wanna have here? It says don't display any schedule other than like the just-in-time or the yesterday's replay, so you can do as many as nine, which might confuse people and like give them too many options. They're not gonna pick one or you can do minimal ones. Like they really fine tune on a lot of these details that you wanna edit around and change. And that's a great thing. Like a lot of these, you might be like, yeah, that's cool, that's not cool. But it's great to have the option to really just change a lot of these things here. You can block short-term registrations. You can also block holidays because who is gonna be doing a webinar on December 25th? 
Some people might, most people won't, because you know they're gonna be at home, they're gonna be opening gifts, whatever they're gonna be doing, like even January 1st. Whatever you wanna do, you can just simply block specific dates as needed. So a whole lot of flexibility here, like if you wanna just make this as easy as possible, you can do like enable instant watch replay, right? You can do that one, or you could just do enable just in time option. Okay, and when you do that, you're gonna see that it's gonna be every 15, 30, 45, or top of the hour. You can change that around so there's fewer. So if you do like 30 or you know top of the hour or every top of the hour, the most they're gonna to have to wait is like what, 59 minutes or an hour depending on when they get there. So I think something like that is gonna be fine and you can hide night schedules from these specific times if needed. Really up to you, but a whole lot of flexibility, which is great here. I'm just gonna click on save for this. So we're gonna do this, uh, it will take effect within 60 seconds, that's fine, let's do next. All right, now we get to the registration page design. Let's go right here and let's check these out. In my opinion, they're not gonna be anything bold or like amazing, but I think they definitely get the job done. Editing them is gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna to go to a basic one, I love the basic ones. Let's click on customize. And we have registration bar, we have a registration bubble, we have a button and an embeddable form. I'm gonna go with the bar right here and do launch builder. All right, so this is gonna be the editor. Since we chose the template, pretty much what you're gonna be needing is already here. We can't edit this because it's not editable, but if you click on something right here, you just simply click on like this, and then we can go here and edit the text, right? These are gonna be your bullet points. Bullet points, this is gonna be the host. Anything you wanna edit, once again, you can go ahead and do that. This is gonna be the title. You can change this around, free webinar, free coaching session. If there's gonna be coaching on it, you know, a free masterclass is another popular one, but let's go to actions here. Let's just do preview. And it looks exactly as we edit it, right? We didn't really edit a whole lot here. I'm just kind of showcasing that's gonna be the process. And don't worry about this, right? It says 2020, it says it'll be active once you publish the live page, but that's gonna be what it looks like where they can click on it and register and get going. So very easy, very straightforward. I think if you're looking for something that's super complex, you know, like a massive grandiose landing page editor, you're not gonna get that. I don't think every webinar needs that, especially when you go with some of the basic Sign up forms here. In my past, I've had the best opt in or the highest opt in rates when it's something very simple like this and even simpler. So it's kind of like your main title, which you know, you don't want to use that. This is just an example. And then you want some of these powerful bullet points that your perfect audience is going to say, like, oh, I want to see how that's done. Let me sign up for this. All right. And even something like this is like even more simple. Like I talked about, you know, you can play around with it if you want, but let's click on save here just so you get an idea of that. Next, we have some form fields. All right, and with the registration form fields, first and last name, email and phone number, these are gonna be mandatory. You can't turn these off, especially for the fact that someone, if they're gonna be chatting in the webinar chat, right, they need to have a name there. So that's gonna be the reason for that. If you did wanna add these in, you certainly can. There's the ability to do free versus paid. Paid is actually a good idea if you're selling a course where it's like, hey, if you wanna purchase the course and then you just give all the value through the webinar that's a replay, like that's just an example of how you can do that, but ideally you're probably gonna to wanna to do free, right? We have some notifications right here. So if you want notifications uh, when an attendee registers to a webinar, that can be pretty hectic if you're doing a large volume of you know opt-ins. You're getting a lot of people to opt into your webinar, so you can do that if needed, and you can password protect it if needed as well. But let's just go to save here and go to the next. Next is gonna be your email gateway. So you can simply just use every webinar. You can use your own SMTP if needed or your own autoresponder where there's gonna be integrations where you can do that and go back to it. But for this example, I'm gonna go with every webinar. And there's gonna be some reminder notifications. So these are gonna be important so that someone knows that when they sign up, they can actually go in and get their link in case they forget. Cause you know, if they're gonna be signing up for a webinar and maybe it's like 45 minutes later, it's still good to say get one that's gonna be 15 minutes before, all right? So you can do pre-webinar uh, reminders here. You can do this one, you can do post-webinar follow-up. So it is very flexible. You're not getting a ton here because once again, this is a recorded webinar. Usually when you're doing a live one and someone registers for it, say like a week out, you're gonna be sending a whole lot more reminders, right? Because a lot of people are gonna forget what they do tomorrow, let alone seven days from now. So don't expect to see a lot of them here. As you can see, you have immediately, you have a pre-webinar reminder in 15 minutes before and a post-webinar follow-up if needed. So a great opportunity here to get more people on your ever webinar, which is once again, a very good thing. 
All right, and if you're curious about email autoresponder integrations, Kartra, of course, also owned by Genesis Digital. But as you can see here, Aweber, Active Campaign, Keep, MailChimp, GetResponse, and a few others. Zapier is going to be what allows you to integrate with a lot of things. So if you see an autoresponder here that you have, you could always probably just utilize Zapier with that to kind of combine both of those. Last but not least is going to be third-party tracking systems. Uh, if you want to embed that, you can certainly do that, like Google Analytics, Facebook ad tracking, which is important. So you know where your conversions are going to be coming from but if you don't need that you click on save and then save here and go to next all right and here we get a little bit of confirmation <clears throat> all right so here we get a little bit of customization so this is going to be their confirmation page so upon registration your subscribers will be directed to our default confirmation page here the user will receive the link to the webinar room plus a summary of all the details and so on and so forth now you can do that or you can use your own custom page it's really going to be up to you so if you want to go that route you can certainly do that i'm going to leave it on the default and you can give them a survey too if needed. So if you don't wanna do that, yes or no, really up to you. So if you click here very quickly, these are gonna be some of the questions where you can add this, uh, enter the question, what's the poll option, so on and so forth. This is very straightforward stuff, but I do wanna showcase that you can do it. And you have your thank you page design, very similar to the, I guess you could say the landing page editor before when we were creating our landing page, but this is gonna be the thank you. I'm just gonna go in one very quickly and we can do preview. That's going to be what it looks like. So they're going to obviously go in there. They're going to say, thank you. This is going to be the date, which is all auto populated based upon when they signed up. This is going to be the webinar link. And if you did add a password, that's going to be where it is. Okay. So we didn't have a password in this one. We don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to keep it at that because you're familiar with how to edit the landing pages. So let's click on save and let's go to next. All right, now here we get to some of the really juicy details that I think you're gonna like. This is gonna be autoplay, so you can enable it or disable. So the video will not be played until the users decide to click on play, or you can just play it automatically. They just gotta pretty much unmute it, okay? So this is gonna be what it looks like. Once again, they can click on it start the broadcast you could say like click here to start it and so on and so forth okay next we have our countdown page design choose a design for your waiting page for users for accessing the webinar before it starts and very quickly i'm just going to load it up i'll show you a preview here let's do a preview and you can see it's going to be starting soon it's going to be a lot less than that but this is just an example okay so just to give you an idea of what that looks like once again all of the pages that are going to be edited are pretty much the same thing, which is great. We have live content right here. So that's going to be an example of this. If you want to add an event, you certainly can. And this is where you can get really flexible. There's a whole lot you can do here. So there's polls, there's file sharing, there's announcements, there's sticky offers, the product offer, which is going to be a really big one. Clearly, if you want to make sales right, we have a live sale announcement and we have a redirect. So polls are going to be good. So if you want to just once again, get people to answer questions here, based upon whatever maybe you're selling, maybe if you want some more information, do you have any more questions? Was this a great webinar for you? You know, the world is your oyster when it comes to polls, so that's up to you there. We have file sharing, which is gonna be fantastic because if you ever said something like this on a webinar, hey, make sure you stay till the end, you're gonna get a free cheat sheet that allows you to show you how to grow and build your digital business with the power of webinars, okay? And then you get to the end and what you can do is you can put this on a specific timestamp. So let's say your webinar was two hours long and at one hour and 45 minutes in, I wanna say thank you to everyone who stayed pretty much to the end. Here's gonna be where the file is and here's gonna be where it drops at this specific time. And it says files will pop in at the designated time in the video. So how cool is that? You can get people to stay towards the end and if they do, this will auto magically, yes I said magically, upload a file for them so they can download it, get what they need and even make a purchase if needed as well. Some other events we'll be talking about announcement, sticky message, but product offer is probably going to be one of the biggest things. We have the name, we have the offer, we have the image for it. And as you can see, it's going to look quite fantastic where you can edit all this around. Where's your headline? You can do add to cart. And of course, you have your button link. And a lot of people have asked me in the past, like, hey, can I use EverWebinar with this software? Like if you're using a different checkout software, you can perfectly do that. All you would need to do is put the checkout page right here, link it to it. So when they click there, they can go there, they can pay for it, they can get their course, they can get their training, their coaching, whatever it is gonna be that they purchase, okay? And once again, you start the offer at these specific times. So when you have your pre-recorded webinar and you do the price drop, it's gonna be one payment of only $9.97. You find that in there, you drop it at that specific time. And once again, everything is done automatically. That's the power of this. Everything is gonna be automated for you so that they happen at specific timeframes in your recorded webinar, which is fantastic, okay? So that's gonna be all the settings 
settings that comes along with that and pretty much talked about everything else like if you want to redirect at the end so redirect to external websites what you can do is say at the like last second of it or towards the end you can just redirect to your checkout page if you want to do that or just anywhere else it's really up to you probably want to open it up in a new tab as well all right, and this is gonna be a nice little feature if you wanna add a little bit more realism to it. So you can just simply disable the chat. This is always like a on and off where a lot of people will say that the chat is distracting, but then again, it's great to see people's input to that. You can display a question box, and then there's gonna be enable live chat. And yes, this is going to be an automated webinar, but this is a great way to see some of the input that people are gonna be putting in. Maybe they have questions that need answered. So if you need to redo your webinar, you can address those in the future to help you increase your conversion. So if we click on this right here, what you can do is say, allow attendees to see others chat, which is a good thing. And you can save real comments from real attendees. So that's a great thing. As people go on and watch this and they ask questions, you can save these and just simply add them in as they were asked previously. So if you had a live webinar, what you could do is take those comments and questions and remarks and just simply add them into it, right? Because they've said them before. It's not like you're making it up. So that is something that you can certainly do. And if you want to save them, you can do that and simply add them in at these specific time frames for doing that. Okay. So we can do save there display number of attendees and of course there's going to be some options for displaying the number of attendees which is going to be up to you and that's pretty much going to be a lot of the great features that you can utilize here to really help amp up the uh, conversions when you're doing your automated webinar then there's also going to be webinar replay recording so it says no do not allow access to the replay page and it says yes allow access to the replay page in my opinion i'd probably just do yes you know you get other people to watch it i think that's going to be a fine thing but if you don't want to simply click on no you can do save do next and congratulations just like that your webinar has been successfully created very straightforward. I know a lot of the time was me talking about like the features and the benefits of doing this, but it's simply just following the steps here. Like I said, you don't have to use your own email platform. You can simply use whatever webinar has to offer and that will allow you to get up and running even quicker. All right, and here's gonna be an example. Like I said, we didn't change around much here. This is, but this is actually gonna be in line with registering. So as you can see, this one's gonna be in nine minutes. We click on register. And perfect, as you can see, it's only gonna be the next one. So like the next one that's available, you're not gonna see 10 options here where they get confused. It's gonna be in this time zone that's based upon where I am specifically. Of course, you can always change it around if needed, but you can say your name, your email address, you register right there. And it is very straightforward when it comes to setting up. And with that in mind, let's close out this Ever Webinar review. So I really like webinars a lot and Ever Webinar definitely holds a special place in my marketing heart, mainly because it helped me pull off my first five figure automated webinar. Now I'm not gonna say that's gonna happen to you, but with that experience, it's definitely very significant to me. And I do have to say that moment opened a treasure chest of opportunity and completely flipped how I looked at online marketing. Just very quickly at that time, I was doing product launch after product launch after product launch and I said, what if I just created a webinar with it? Like what would happen? And that's where I did it and I was like, oh, so you mean I can just create webinars and instead of selling these products for like pennies, which I shouldn't be in the first place, just do that and help people at a much higher level? Got it. And it was just a light bulb moment for me and Ever Webinar is definitely to thank for that. Now, let's talk real flexibility here because Ever Webinar nails it. Whether it's the just in time, specific schedule, or letting attendees feel like, hey, they just caught it, this tool bends like a yoga instructor. You can customize it to fit your vibe and audience like a glove. And the features all are included regardless of your plan. And that's something rare to see nowadays. So if you're in it for the long haul, and you probably should be, go biennial and save the most coin. It's the classic pay now, thank yourself later move. And as you can see, monthly is going to be $99 a month. If you pay annually, it's only $499 a month. And if you build every two years, the biggest one right here, you save the most amount of money and pay only $874. And when you think about it, if you're using a webinar to sell a product, offer, or service, many of the times that's only one sale to make your money back and even more, especially when you're getting billed every two years. Now, some folks will try to play it off like the webinar is live. Every webinar even does a great job making you wonder, wait, is this real? Personally, I've liked keeping it real and telling my audience it's a recording. It doesn't matter. They'll still show up, drop comments, and ask questions like it's live. The bottom line here, though, if you want the best tool for automated webinars, Every Webinar is it. You can even grab a special 30-day trial through the link down below in the description or the pinned comment. Give it a spin. See how far one webinar can take you.
And that's going to conclude my updated EverWebinar review. I hope this helped you out when it comes to getting a demo and tutorial when it comes to putting together your automated webinar. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.